Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, I wanted to chat to you guys about what it's really like to be a junior doctor. So as you know, I am a junior doctor. I graduated last summer. You guys literally saw me open my results. Crazy, that feels like ages ago now, but it was only a year ago. And I started work as a doctor last August. So in the UK, you do two years of foundation training. And um, after the first year of foundation training, you're fully qualified and you can work anywhere. After the second year of foundation, foundation training, uh, you can apply for specialty training and then from there you can further specialise. I am at the very beginning of that process. I am a foundation year one doctor. I thought I would just tell you guys what it's actually like because I spent the last however many years of my life trying to think about what it would actually be like. So yeah, I just wanted to spill the tea to you guys about what the reality of being a junior doctor is like. The first thing is that there is a lot of admin, a lot of paperwork. This can be a bit tiring and monotonous and it can seem like the discharge letters, the rewriting of drug charts is never ending. However, it's also really important and you do kind of learn quite a bit from it. Simply from writing up a load of management plans re-prescribing a load of medicines you're just kind of re-drilling into your head what you've learned in med school about treatment plans and management plans and highlighting what's important relearning about medications because obviously when you're rewriting a drug chart you have to check it as well so even though it seems like a load of paperwork it's actually also good for learning so yeah number one thing which i think a lot of people don't realize is that there's a lot of admin and a lot of paperwork another thing about being a junior baby doctor is that it's really deep it's really deep and if you are studying medicine or you're looking to become a doctor you will know that it is deep and over my over my course of medical school and training I've grown so much in so many different ways because the, the job forces you to however none so accelerated in a short period of time as since I started working as a doctor the number of like crazy encounters that I've had to just be be the professional in take the lead and direct people or comfort someone who's just lost a loved one or break bad news to a patient, discuss to them that we're coming to the end of this person's life. Things like that will really like mold you and change you. And I think the only way to learn to do them is to just do them. I can honestly say, I think that's changed me <laughs> as a person. As dramatic as that sounds, I have a completely different, not completely different, but a, a really fresh perspective on the value of life, the value of healthcare, the value of family and loved ones, the value of living while you're healthy and young, of not delaying things, of not being too scared to try new things. All of that, I think, has been really imprinted on me over this year. By seeing people's lives saved, by seeing people's lives come to an end, by being a vital part of both processes, um, yeah, it's taught me a lot. The third point, I have, I feel like I have so much to say in this video, but I don't want it to go on and on. So I'm just gonna keep it short and snappy and end with this third point, which is that as a junior baby doctor, you know nothing. You know a lot, but you also know nothing. You are constantly learning and you are constantly learning new things. But at the same time, despite you still having so much to learn, it also shows you how much you have learned when you're put in a situation where you have to make sharp decisions and you recall on your medical knowledge, you realize actually I have haven't wasted the last however many years I've really been learning stuff and um, I think a big thing of being a foundation doctor is just having that humility to ask there really is no such thing as a stupid question as someone who's a junior doctor you're there to learn from your seniors and I have learned so incredibly much uh, from my seniors I think it's really important to to know that those people who are above you who have so many more years of experience they're there to help you so yeah I think those are the three things that I'll say in this video. There's a lot of admin, a lot of deep stuff that will freaking change your perspective on life. <laughs> and that you're constantly learning. You're literally constantly learning how to deal with people, how to deal with medical emergencies, how to deal with colleagues and people that you work with. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos. And let me know what else you wanna chat about uh, on this channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.